with with everything that's gone down with with the uh, the Ravens and, and given how much contact you guys up front would have with the running backs, has that has that created you know any kind of any additional concern for you, given that you've already been through something like this and and have you tried to take as um, as many precautionary steps as you can with your family? Uh, for me personally, no, just because I know I'm doing everything I can um, to 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 not get my family sick. So for me, I'm not really worried about it. Um, unfortunately, I had it earlier, but um, you know, I'm not really worried about it, and I don't think really anyone on the team is really stressing about it either. We're just trying to do what we can do and um, continue to wear our masks while we're in the building and social distance when we go outside and, and meet and stuff like that. So I don't think no one's really worried about it. Uh, Jeff? Daquan, I know I've seen a lot of comments about the intensity on Sunday and how does the team get itself kind of riled up for games and how do you kind of maintain that week to week uh, during a long NFL season? I mean, as the season goes on, you know, the games get um, more and more in dire to win. Um, we know what kind of situation we're in. Uh, right now being 7-3, like going in this week, we're tied with uh, Indy. And uh, it, it, I mean, that's that energy is going to bring out Come, come itself. You know what I mean? Like we know what kind of game it is. We know it's gonna be a physical game, and we have to re be ready to, uh, you know, bring our pads. And I, I think last week, uh, we knew that, you know, a lot of people out there talking about how it's gonna be a, a revenge game for them, or, you know, last year was a fluke or whatever. And we knew we had to come in there and, and back back it up. Um, so that's what we did, and um, you know, the energy kind of just, you know, just manifested itself. And, and one more, on just uh, you lose Jayon this past Sunday and you've lost some other guys during the course of the season. How, mm -hmm. how difficult is that to, when you see a teammate go down and then what's the process like of getting used to new guys stepping in their place, whether it's in game or, or riding with you the rest of the way? Yeah. I mean, it sucks. I mean, I mean it's one thing about this sport. I mean, you know, at some point you're going to get, you're going to get hurt or injured and uh, you just hate to see it, uh, especially someone like John who comes in and works his tail off and uh, does everything the right way. Um, but at the same time, it's that next man up mentality. And, um, you know, whoever we put back there, uh, you know, Will, Bates, whatever, um, you know, we're all confident in them that they're going to get the job done. Um, but, yeah, you just hate to see stuff, stuff like that, especially when they're playing so, such good football. Teresa? <clears throat> Daquan, that said, uh, what is it that this team loses with Jayon being out now? Uh, you know, the guy's got speed. He's he was wearing the green dot for you guys on defense. Uh, how tough will it be to, you know, as good as those guys are, to step in and replace him? Uh, definitely tough. I, mean, I, I think it, no matter who goes down, it's always going to be tough to replace somebody who, who's a starter. Um, and, uh, you know, his leadership, too. Uh, he does a great job out there communicating, make sure we're all on the same page and, uh, you know, definitely going to be missed. Uh, but, you know, like I said, you know, the next man up, and I really think these guys are, are locking in this week and, and uh, taking the extra steps and communicating to make sure everyone's on the same page. So uh, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about going this week. Uh, John, go ahead. Hey, Quan. Um, question for you. Uh, the, the, uh, the audio to the little exchange between Mike Vrabel and, and Jim Harbaugh came out today. Uh, excuse me, John Harbaugh came out today. And, and uh, you know, you can hear uh, Harbaugh saying, you know, this disrespectful to go on the logo and celebrate that kind of thing. You've been here a long time. When, when did that um, uh, kind of start for you guys? I know you guys do it pretty regularly. And, and what, you know, what is the point of, of, of going out to, to midfield and kind of breaking things down there? Yeah, I don't, I don't know exactly when we started it. I know we've been doing it for a while. I mean, no matter where we go, we go to the logo and we break it down. Um, and, it's, you know, it started off originally, you know, we got to send a message. And we're going to go to the middle of the field no matter who we play, and we're going to break it down. Um, and, and that's that. I mean, he can call it disrespectful all you want, but, you know, we've been doing that, I mean, heck, for a couple of years now. Uh, so, I mean, I'm not really reading too much into it. I really don't care if it's disrespectful or not. It's something that we do, and we're not going to stop doing it. Cool. Thank you. Uh, Terry? Daquan, when you play a team twice in a three-week span, how much uh, is it an advantage, at least from a preparation standpoint, that all the things that you watched on them and prepared for them is still fresh in your mind? I mean, yeah. I mean, just playing them two weeks ago, I mean, it's, it seems 
uh, really fresh, um, and especially them being a division opponent. I mean, you, you know them very well. You know what they're going to do and vice versa. Um, so it really just comes down to going out there and just playing better. I mean, I can speak for us up front. Uh, we have to go out there and just play better, um, be more violent with our hands, uh, shock and shed, and do our job better at a, at a, at a higher level. And, um, you know, for, for us, it, I mean, it, it really feels like we just played them. Um, you know, I, I can speak for myself that, I'm, you know, I'm buying up the bits to get back out there. Uh, I felt like, you know, I left a lot of stuff out there in the field the last time we played them. So uh, I'm just ready to go and um, get after these guys. Uh, on a fun note, to, before you get out of here, I know Paul would want to ask this question, but he, he, he won't. Your favorite side dish for uh, Thanksgiving tomorrow? The side dish, uh, I want to say pumpkin pie. Like I, I'm, I'm a huge dessert guy. If y'all can't tell, um, pumpkin pie would probably be my my go-to, my dish. All right, we'll go and uh, Jim has one more, and then we'll let you go. Okay. Jim, you got one? I do. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I, I guess. Philip Rivers and competing against him like you have over the years. What what kind of stands out to you, Daquan, about him? And I know you're probably not much of a trash talker, but is, is he has he ever said anything crazy to you out there? No, I mean never never said anything to me, but um, I, I'm well aware of how he you know how he, how he talks and how he plays the game. And I mean I, I mean I love that stuff. I love, I love when people really get engaged and and the, and the trash talking starts. Um, I don't, I don't really get into it, but I mean, I love, I love seeing everyone's competitive nature out there, and uh, it, it just brings a, a more sharper and, and intense uh, intensity out there on the field. So I'm, mean, I look forward to it. I enjoy it. And I know it sounds like it sounds like Coach Vrabel may have maybe adjusted the schedule so you guys could spend time with your families on Thanksgiving. You've played for a lot of coaches here. I mean, and some guys have handled things differently around the holidays. How appreciative are you? that maybe they're, he's looking out for players and uh, what's that do maybe in a locker room? I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, he's he played his game and, and he knows, you know, the holidays are, are a special time for people and their families. And, um, you know, I was surprised by the schedule. And um, but at the same time, I'm very grateful and grateful and thankful that he, he's allowing us to be home with our families. So uh, uh, it means a lot to me and, and I'm, I'm, I can probably say for the whole team, too.